our apocalyptic new normal, most global conflict since World War II, most billion dollar disasters ever, and most hungry people in history, Michael Snyder reports. Our world is witnessing apocalyptic events so frequently that many of us are starting to become numb to it all. Major wars are raging all over the globe. Children in Africa are literally dropping dead from starvation as hunger spreads like wildfire. And billion dollar disasters are hitting us more frequently than we have ever seen before. But as long as these tragedies are not affecting us directly, most people don't really care too much. As the level of worldwide suffering rises, it seems as though hearts are getting colder at the same time. The traumatic events of the past several years have left deep scars, and there are many that prefer to ignore the apocalyptic things that are happening in the world because it's just too much for them to handle emotionally. According to a brand new study, the number of armed conflicts in 2023 was the most that we have seen in a single year since the end of World War II. More armed conflicts took place worldwide in 2023 than any other year since the end of the Second World War, according to a Norwegian study published Monday. Last year saw 59 conflicts, of which 28 were in Africa. The Peace Research Institute of Oslo, PRIO, PRIO showed, we are really living in a time of wars and rumors of wars. But since it's it's not our sons and daughters that are being gunned down and uh, in the killing fields of eastern Ukraine. Most of us in the Western world are not really moved by all of these, this. Every single day, more young lives are being wasted. But if you think that things are bad now, wait until Israel and Hezbollah start lobbying thousands, uh, lobbying thousands of missiles back and forth. China invades Taiwan and Russia and NATO begin directly pummeling one another. Meanwhile, global hunger just continues to grow. In fact, it's being reported that the number of people facing acute food insecurity last year was the highest ever recorded. The number of people threatened by hunger in the world has never been so high. In 2023, 281 million people in 59 countries were facing acute food insecurity. According to the 2024 Global Report on Food Crisis, published Wednesday, April 24th, by several international organizations, including UN agencies, the European Union, the U.S. Agency for International Development. This figure is up on 2022, 257 million in its fifth year running. This global report on food crisis is a roll call for human failings, warned U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres prefacing the analysis. A decade ago, world leaders dreamed of a day when hunger would be eradicated. Today, that dream is completely dead. Right now, hunger is exploding in areas all over the continent of Africa. In Sudan, people are literally eating dirt and leaving leaves just so that they can fill their stomachs with something. Time is running out to prevent starvation in Sudan, warns the World Food Program. 25 million people in Sudan need humanitarian assistance. 18 million are facing acute food insecurity. And 5 million people are at emergency levels approaching famine as the country's civil war passes the one-year mark. Amid so many other crises, the world's largest hunger crisis is drawing little global attention. In the Al Light refugee camp, for example, people are eating dirt and boiling leaves just to have something in their bellies, reports Reuters. Others are eating grass and peanut shells, according to the World Food Program. Since it is not happening to us, most of us don't really care. But hunger is growing here, too. According to one recent survey, over one-fourth of the entire U.S. population is now skipping meals due to crazy high food prices. More than a quarter of Americans have resorted to skipping meals to avoid paying inflated grocery store prices, according to a new survey. According to a study by Qualtrics, on behalf of Intuit Credit Karma, 80% of Americans say they have felt a notable increase in grocery costs in recent years. More than a quarter of respondents said the increased cost has led them to occasionally skip meals, while about a third said they spend more than 60% of their monthly income on mandatory expenses, such as food, utilities, and rent. Food insecurity is a major issue in this country, as millions of Americans do not have enough food to eat or don't have access to healthy food. 
Courtney Aliff, a consumer financial advocate at Credit Karma, said in a statement, I keep warning my readers that this is just the beginning and I hope that they are taking me seriously. We're also living at a time when major natural disasters are becoming more frequent. Last year, our world was hit by more billion dollar disasters than ever before. The planet was besieged by a record $63 billion weather disaster in 2023, surpassing the previous record of 57 set in 2020, said insurance broker Gallagher Ray in its annual report issued January 17. Unfortunately, we may top that number this year. So far in 2024, there have been already $11 billion disasters in the United States alone. A deadly outbreak of tornadoes last month cost $4.7 billion in damages across the southern, southeast, and central U.S., making it one of the costliest weather events of the year so far, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, said on Monday. NOAA said there have been 11 confirmed weather and climate disaster events so far this year, with losses exceeding a billion dollars, with the total price tag topping $25 billion, there were more than 165 tornadoes during the May 6-9 outbreak, impacting Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida, officials said. We have already experienced so many historic disasters and hurricanes Hurricane season and the heart of wildfire season are still ahead of us. And almost every day we're seeing things happen that we have never seen before. For example, storm chasers in the middle of the country just recovered a piece of hail that was about the size of a pineapple. Val and Amy Castor, veteran storm chasers with Oklahoma City television station KWTV, discovered a piece of hail more than seven inches long Sunday along the side of the road near Vigo Park while they were chasing a major thunderstorm system. Val Castro said the storm was about the size of a pineapple. That's the biggest tail I've ever seen and I've been chasing storms for over 30 years, Castro said. We aren't supposed to have hail of that size, but this is the new normal where the old rules simply don't apply. In California, there have been an alarming series of earthquakes during the past couple of weeks. First, a magnitude 3.6 earthquake at O.J. Valley sent weak shaking from Santa Barbara to Los Angeles on May 31st. Then came two small quakes under the eastern L.A. neighborhood of El Sereno, the most powerful uh, A3.4. And finally, a trio of tremors hit Costa Mesa Newport Beach border, topping at a magnitude 3.6 on Thursday. Having half a dozen earthquakes with a magnitude over two and a half in a week hitting three distinct parts of Southern California, all in highly populated areas, is not a common occurrence. And the big one is coming eventually, but I don't think it's coming quite yet. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that. Other nations are getting pounded by natural disasters after natural disaster as well. Brazil has been getting hit particularly hard, nightmarish flooding was making headlines down there for a while, but now wildfires are taking center stage. After historic floods recently claimed 172 lives in coastal Brazil, the country now faces new crisis as fire rages through the Pantanal wetlands. These fires have surged nearly tenfold compared to the same period last year, setting the stage for a potential cat catastrophe worse than the devastating fires of 2020. With severe to extreme drought conditions expected, the situation is becoming increasingly dire. Data from the Brazilian Space Research Agency, National Institute for Space Research, INPE, reveals a staggering 980% jump in fires across the Pantanal wetlands this year through June 5th, 5th compared to the same time frame in 2023. Speaking of Brazil, it's in the midst of the worst pandemic of dengue fever that has ever been recorded in that nation. Brazil recorded the highest number of dengue cases globally in 2024, according to new data from the World Health Organization, WHO. There are nearly 6.3 million probable and 3 million confirmed cases in the country. The South American country counts 82% of the 7.6 million probable cases of dengue recorded in the entire world, 
by the WHO this year. Sadly, it also accounts for 77% of 3,620 deaths globally from the virus and 82% of the 16,242 cases of severe dengue reported. Thus far, 2024 has been the most serious dengue outbreak ever recorded in Brazil. According to the Ministry of Health, by the end of May, the number of probable cases was 328% higher than that recorded in the same period last year, which had already seen a record number of dengue diagnoses. So many pestilences are causing major problems all over the globe right now. In the Demo Dem Democratic Republic of Congo, the number of MPOX cases Monkeypox has surged to an all-time record high, and it's in the form of a disease and has a particularly high death rate. This outbreak, also perhaps the most widespread during 2023 and 2024, called IMPOX cases, were reported from 25 of 26 provinces and for the first time from the capital city of Kinshasa, the CDC team wrote. If you ever catch this form of mpox, you'll remember it from the rest of, for the rest of your life, even if you survive, because it will be the worst pain that you have ever experienced. On top of everything else, it's being reported that scientists have discovered giant viruses in the enormous sheets of ice that cover Greenland. The idea of a giant virus lurking on a vast ice sheet might sound like a plot to the latest science fiction blockbuster, but it's become a reality after researchers discovered giant viruses while exploring the Greenland ice sheet. Hopefully, none of those giant viruses poses a major threat to humanity, but without a doubt, there will be more global pandemics in our future. In fact, all of the trends that I've discussed in this article are going to continue to intensify. Our apocalyptic new normal is here. We live in a world that's going completely and utterly mad, and you can try to ignore that if you wish, but it is the truth. This is by Michael Snyder on End of the American Dream. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. This is by Michael Snyder about the author. Michael Snyder's extremely controversial new book entitled Chaos is available in paperback and for Kindle on Amazon. He's also written seven other books that are available on Amazon, including End Times, Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophets of the Future of America, The Beginning of the End and Living a Life That Really Matters. When you purchase any of Michael's books, you help to support the work he's doing. You can also get his articles by email as soon as he publishes them by subscribing to his Substack newsletter. Michael has published thousands of articles on the Economic Class blog, End of the American Dream, and the Most Important News. And he always freely and happily allows others to republish those articles on their own websites. These are such troubled times and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, we strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.